Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So we are here today with Stassi, Finley, Ann Harper, and Madison. So, <laughs> so Madison is my boyfriend's daughter and she is here visiting and we wanted to do a video just to give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on with the girls. So I know it's been a while since I've done a dog video and it's been a while since you guys have seen the girls, but they are here. I have a few things I wanna to talk to you about and at the end, I have a special announcement that I'm going to be making. So make sure that you stay tuned for that announcement at the end. And I have a hair in my face. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, so if any of you are following uh, me on social media, or mainly our Instagram page, which is Simply Rocks 2017, Finley, please, she's taking over the spotlight here. She, she has lots to say. Um, but if you are following us on our Instagram channel, you will um, maybe have saw that the girls did get spayed. Um, so today is four days post-op and they are doing fabulous. Now a little bit about my decision to spay them. So if you remember in previous videos, you may have saw that I spoke about waiting to get them spayed until they were older. And they are older now. So Harper will be six in April, Stassi will be four in May, and Finley here will be two in August. So they are a little bit older, and I just felt like it was time to get them spayed because of the risk of pyometra. Now I did, like in the beginning, I wanted to do an ovary sparing spay, which I talked a little bit about in my last video, but I have been having a problem, or a, not a problem, but um, how do I want to say this? I couldn't find a vet in my area or anywhere near me that did that ovary sparing spay. So I decided to go ahead with the traditional spay after talking to my vet a you know, pretty long time. One of the things about an ovary sparing spay is they do keep their ovaries, so they do have the heat cycle. So they will still bleed a little bit. Now, I don't really know how that works because they don't have a uterus to bleed, but they do still have some bleeding there that occurs with an ovary sparing spay. But I just felt that it was um, okay to do a traditional spay at their age. I still don't believe in early spay when they are under one years old. But um, I believe that they have gotten the benefits of their hormones, and so I felt like it was just time for them to get done. Now, Finley probably could have waited a little bit longer to get spayed um, than these girls, because like I said, Harper will be six and Stassi will be four, so they had the great benefits of keeping their hormones for this long. But I just felt like I wanted to get it all done at the same time and get it over with, and that's what I did. And they really did great. I was a nervous wreck having all three girls uh, being worked on the same day, but I have absolute, complete confidence in my vet. He is wonderful, and I just felt like, um, I just felt like I knew that, you know, we, we had a lot of talks and he knew exactly where I was coming from and he called me like six times during the day. So when he would finish with um, Harper, you know, he would call me when he was, oh, actually he called halfway through, um, kind of like when they just finished and then when he they were completely up and ready. I did um, pick them up the same day and they were just a little bit sleepy that night not too bad at all wasn't anything where I could tell that they were really painful Finley did a great job um, she acted like <laughs> she acted like nothing even occurred to her so she was kind of you jumping. know running around yet yeah, jumping and we tried to keep her quiet of course and I, I put them in their play pens because I didn't want them to bust a stitch but they did really really well now the only thing is the ne for the next following two days they were also still a little subdued a little quiet except for Finley here <laughs> Oh, 
course. <laughs> yes, she's uh, she's the little rough clown of the house. So she was running around, jumping off the, the walls. Well, not really, but kind of. <laughs> um, but the other two girls, you know, were kind of quiet. The only thing that still remains is loss of appetite. So they're really not eating too, too much yet. And that is going to come back. It's going to get better. Oh, I'm hoping that that appetite comes back soon because, of course, you know, you want to see them have a hearty appetite. But they are not sick. They're not, you know, lying around. They don't, you know, seem painful at all. Um, it's just the loss of appetite. And I know that it's because of the antibiotics that, are, that they are on and also the anesthesia. So they did come home with um, some anti-inflammatory meds and antibiotics. And they're still on that. And they'll be on that for another few days. So... We we have a behind the man behind the scenes cameraman um, with treats so that they kind of <laughs> stay a little bit still for you guys. Um, but anyway, so they did wonderful for that. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about, um, and as far as that subject goes, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the. Um, new food that I am just starting with them. Now, I am gonna come back to you guys with a full review after they have been eating it for a while. I just started, oh, where you going, mama? Where you going? So I just started to slowly introduce this new food into their bowls, and they like it so far, except for Miss Picky here. She's, you know, she's always, if you guys remember from the um, earlier videos that I've done, She's the one where she just takes a little while and she, you know, she's got to kind of get used to things and, you know, she's going to, she's going to like it just fine. She eats it out of my hand just fine, but in the bowl, she's like, mm, what is this? You. This is different. Uh, so she just has to get a little bit used to it. Now, I have been feeding raw for many, many years. As you guys know, I feed Nature's Variety raw, frozen, and True Pet freeze-dried frozen. Come on, Harper. She loves to lay down on the job. Uh, but, and that has worked well for us. It's not that I don't like it at all. Um, it's just that I felt that they needed a little bit of a change. I have found that, especially with Stasi, she just was getting to the point where we would put her food out and she would kind of turn her nose up about it. Um, so I figured it's time for a little bit of a change. So, and also the cost is a big factor. The Nature's Variety Raw and the True Pet is on the pricey side, so it's expensive. And so I was looking for a food that was still a very, very high cost quality food, but one that was just a little bit more cost effective with three dogs. So I found this food here, which let me show you the bag. And let's see, I'm gonna put Stassi right here and let Madison hold Stassi while I show you what we are going to be feeding. So this is called TLC, and I don't know, you probably can't see it the glare. <laughs> So this is the bag here. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah, oh, she wants that food. food. You want the food, you see the, the food, huh? <laughs> so this is called TLC. Now you guys know that I do my homework. So I looked at this food for a while and I read all about it and then really decided that this was the food that I was gonna switch them to. We have not been on it long enough so that I can tell you exactly how they're going to do. So stay tuned for a video, but that probably won't come for a little while because of course we have to give it time. So if there's a big transition time where you have to slowly transi transition the new food in with the old food. And then we have to just see how their coats do and um, how, how they're, feeling, how they're feeling and how they like it. And that's gonna take a little bit of time and I didn't wanna wait. You can always look for updates on the Instagram channel because I'm sure I'll be talking about it more there than anything. But this is what this food is. It's TLC, it's a whole life dog food. It's all natural, of course, and it is for all stages. So you can feed this uh, with puppies all the way through seniors. And I really like the ingredients. So it has New Zealand lamb, 
these are the protein sources. So we have New Zealand lamb, New Zealand lamb, not lambed. <laughs> New Zealand lamb, farm raised fresh deboned chicken, and omega rich, omega three rich Atlantic salmon. I like that it had three protein sources in there. Um, and I like that a whole lot. It has farm fresh herbs, vegetables, and fruits. It has DHA rich salmon oil, which I love that it has that in it. Um, it has New Zealand green lipped mussels, which is a natural source of chondroitin and glucosamine for their joints. It has probiotics in them for their belly, so that's a really good thing to have. Um, and it has low glycemic whole grains, such as sweet potatoes and quinoa. So I like that as well. Um, and then it has lots of anti um, antioxidants. And of course, it has no byproducts, no corn, no wheat, no soy, no fillers, artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. Is it's made, bad? all of those things are bad. Corn? Yep, corn is bad. For dogs? Yes. But we dogs. eat that huh? daily. I have to teach this one over here. Yeah, I don't get any of this, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. the reason why it, corn is bad is because it's a filler. It's, a, it's something cheap that a lot of dog food um, manufacturers will put in dog food to kind of fill it up. And you want something that's protein rich because they get all of their nutrients and their vitamins from the salmon and the chicken and the lamb. And those are all three things that the girls are not allergic to. My girls are allergic to beef, so it was important that I found something that did not have beef. So that's really good. They're all allergic to it? They're all allergic to beef. Well, I don't know about Finley, but definitely um, Harper. Harper and Stassi, who is just like. She's just like, I'm gonna go behind your back. Like, yeah. No yep, she's going behind uh, behind the scenes. She's like, okay, I have, I have done enough. Um, now this company has been around since 1994. It's a very small um, family owned company and they, do all of the food in small batches. So that's really good. You have to order it online, which I love personally, because that means that they're not mass producing the food and that food is not being sat on shelves and warehouses and mm -hmm. things like that to where it could get rancid or bad. So that's important to me. I don't mind ordering things online. Um, I actually feel better about that for that reason, because you don't know how how long if you know say for instance you were feeding uh, Purina or uh, science diet or anything like that you don't know how long ago those foods were made they have to go through uh, and sit in warehouses they have to go through lots of different climate changes temperature changes just sitting there and also it could sit on the store shelf for a very long time until those bags are getting sold and eaten this way I know that small batch made per order or in small batches as they get orders and so I like that um, let's see. So it's saying on here that the benefits that you can see from feeding a food like this is strong lean muscles, cartilage and joints, an ideal body weight, strong bones and teeth, a shiny coat, optimal digestion, less stool volume, yay for that, um, and clear bright eyes and fresh breath and clean teeth. We need that. Yes, we need that. And then improve memory and attention. Although they did get their teeth cleaned really? when they got spayed, so I forgot to mention that. While they were under, my vet did scale their teeth. They, their teeth look great, but they just had a little bit of tartar in the back, and so while they were under, he scaled those and made sure that they're nice and shiny and Good. white, and so they, they're good with that too. Just a little bit on their weights. So you guys may have been wondering how they are weighing these days. And so I will give you an update on that. Now I know Stassi looks a whole lot bigger than what she is, but she weighed in at 11.5 pounds. So she, or 11 pounds, five ounces. She's really skinny. She, like, it's just the hair makes her look so much bigger. Yes. Like yes, she's got lots of hair, yeah. lots of beautiful thick coat, and that does make her look a whole lot yeah, bigger than what she yeah. is. But she's really light. So yeah, 11 pounds, is. five ounces. Um, now, Finley weighed in mm -hmm. at... Baby. <laughs> 16 pounds 
and she's pretty much full grown. She will be, uh, she's a year and a half. So she's gonna top out at 16, which is exactly where, oh, you can see her little scar right there. <laughs> her little space scar. Um, but she um, is topped out at where she's going to be. She was losing a little bit of weight, kind of not as big as what she should have been. And so I upped her food a little bit and now she's perfect at 16 pounds. And then Harper is of course our older lady of the bunch. She is six years old in April. Well, she will be six years old. And she is 16 pounds as well. <laughs> all right, so that's kind of an update, uh, kind of an update on all of the girls. And next, are you ready for our big announcement? <laughs> so we have an announcement. Um, no, I'm not getting married. Yet. <laughs> yet, yeah, yet, yet, hopefully soon. <laughs> so, you know, that's not coming yet. But I do have, we do have another um, big announcement. And Madison, do you want to tell everybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the announcement? We're getting a new puppy. <laughs> We are getting a new puppy. Can you believe that? I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, we have so really? many already. We do. We have okay. three. Okay. But we have lots of love to go around. And Please. yes, and um, you know, the dogs just, as you guys know, bring me so oh. much joy. Oops, there she goes. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Maybe you can pick her up so yeah. that everybody can see her. Okay, cause she, yeah. Yes. Stupid. All right, I'm my baby girl. Okay, so, um, but yes, we are getting a new puppy. So let me tell you a little bit about that. I don't want to spend too, too much time on that, although you know I can talk a lot, so um, I'm not making any promises. But the whole deal is, is that I, uh, when I got Finley, I had talked about breeds and wanting, didn't know exactly what breed I wanted, and I can't really remember exactly what I, you know, what I said in the video or anything like that. I didn't go back and, and look at that video. Um, but at the time, I can remember saying that if I wanted a big dog, I would get a Golden Doodle. There are a few big dog breeds that I like. So I like the temperament and um, the looks of a Golden Doodle. I love a Golden Retriever. Uh, we fell in love with a Briard at a dog show last um, August. We saw a gorgeous Briard that I fell in love with. Um, but I wasn't sure that I could really, at the time, handle a big dog. It was something that was totally different from the way that I do things with indoor potty only. Um, so I kind of shied away from getting that big dog when I got Finley and got Finley instead. If you guys haven't noticed, I like experiencing the different breeds. So I am not one and I know everyone is different and I don't really, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're like one person or another person in what you like. But for me personally, I like to experience the uniqueness of different breeds. I am not a person that will have like four Shizus or four Cavaliers or yeah. four Pugs. I love all of those different, breeds, but, you want but I want a different. I want a selection, right? And that's because they all have totally different personalities. You can do things with the different breeds that you can't really do with every breed. So there are things that you do with the small dog that you can't really do with the big dog. And there's things I do with Stassi that I can't do with Finley. Yeah. Um, and I like experiencing the different breeds. So that is one thing. So I, you know, even though I had talked about possibly getting a bigger dog, but then decided on Finley, which I am so happy that she is a part of our family because she brings us joy and laughter every single day. Um, and I love Stassi's sweetness and I love the ability to do her bows and, you know, make her girly. And I love Harper's I sweet, love her loving hair. personality. And she's just lovey, lovey, lovey. Lovey, but it it left me still wanting and still thinking about 
I want a bigger dog. I want a bigger dog too. Not that I want to replace any of these, of course, God forbid. But I wanted a bigger dog so that I can do big dog things with a big dog. To jump around. Yeah, go outside Little in the park. backyard and go, you know, go throw a ball yeah. and, and take the dog to a, um, you know, like a park and just, you know. Enjoy her. Yeah. Like nature. Yeah. And um, go take the dog on a run. Yeah. And these girls, after about three minutes of walking, they're like, I'm going to sleep. We're done. Yeah. Bye. So they don't really like to um, walk on the leash too much. They walk for maybe, maybe five, ten minutes max. Oh, there's your cat. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's Chaz, the old man Chaz in the background, oh, who buddy. is 15 and a half years old now. It's a love of my life. He's really, really old guy there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, it's a zoo. I have a zoo. <laughs> I know. So why not one more, right? Yeah. Um, but there are things that I was interested in doing with a big dog, and I finally just said, you know what, I am going to do it. I talked about it, I researched and researched and researched for a while, um, and I wanted to find that perfect breed, and I think that I have found it. I am very, very excited and um, looking forward to adding a big dog, although I know that is going to be a challenge. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be so different. Now, I am not new to bigger dogs. I actually had um, my very first dog, who lived to be 18 years old, was a 50 pound dog. She was a mixed breed. She was the best dog. Um, she was awesome. Her name was Callie. And she was a mix between a Border Collie and I don't know what. She was a great dog, lived to be 18, um, and was my very first dog. And I love that size. Um, so when I was researching the breeds, at first I was going back to the one breed that I knew that I loved and that was the Golden Doodle. And so I started researching breeders, I started asking around uh, my friends who have Golden Doodles and they all like love, love, love them. Um, however, I am not getting a Golden Doodle. In my research, I was introduced to the awesome breed of a Sheepadoodle, or Sheepy for short. Now what a Sheepadoodle is, it's a cross between an Old English Sheepdog and a Standard Poodle. Now I have always loved, loved, loved Old English Sheepdogs, but from afar, I knew that I would probably never in my life have an Old English Sheepdog because that coat, that double coat, as beautiful as it is, it's I couldn't so imagine. It's extra to take care of. It is extra, for sure extra. And I couldn't imagine taking care of that big of a dog with that type of a double coat with four dogs or even two dogs. That would be a lot. Well, when I was introduced to the Sheepadoodle breed, the breeders uh, were telling me that it's a very low maintenance, kind of low maintenance. I don't want to say that. That's the wrong word. You do have to brush every day. So every day, every other day, or some breeders say just two or three times a week, um, but you do have to brush them. But they don't mat as much as, say, an Old English Sheepdog or a Golden Doodle. The curlier the coat, the more that they mat. And the thing that I liked about the Sheepadoodles is that they don't have that real tight, tight, curly coat. It has more of a, almost like a coat, like a little wavier than Stassi's coat. Like flowy. Kind of flowy and shaggy, like real shaggy dog looking. And so there, it doesn't have that real tight curl unless you go down to like a, like F, like two or three, which I will do a whole nother video on everything that I've learned about this breed. Um, but the brushing I can handle. I love doing that while I'm watching TV. And so uh, that is, you know, gonna be fine. It's the big dog thing that it's gonna be an adjustment with these, with these girls, you know? It's going to be doing things a little bit differently. But I think that I have figured everything out and, and am getting as prepared as I can be. And of course, we'll work through the issues as we go through them once we bring the puppy home. Now I'm gonna pop in some pictures of my litter.
So cute, right? Yes. Yeah. So adorable, right? No, I love them. So cute. cute. So the picture with six puppies, that is all of the boys. <clears throat> and the picture with four puppies are all of the girls. Now, Shiba Doodle breeders, even though they are a hybrid and they are a mixed breed, you still have good breeders and you have bad breeders. I have picked what I believe to be a very, very good breeder. So this is all going to be happening the last week of February, maybe the first one or two days of March. Somewhere around that time frame is when we will get to go and pick out our puppy and bring our puppy home. I'll be there. <laughs> um, so we're hoping that, you know, of course, we're gonna get the perfect puppy. I know, love, whichever puppy that we get. That is it for this video. So that was a lot of information to cover in one dog-related video. But I wanted to tell you guys what has been going on in our lives as far as um, the dogs are concerned and share our big announcement and excitement with you guys. Of course, if you are not following us on Instagram, Follow us. Follow us. Um, it is Simply Rocks 2017 on Instagram, and I will leave the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Of course. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>
Now, I am out of 10 puppies, I am nine. number ninth pick. Oh. I know, number ninth pick. But I'm hoping that I get moved up on that list a little yeah. bit. I mean, I know I won't move up a whole lot, but I am okay with it. I am okay with being where I am because really, out of all of those puppies, they're all adorable. They are. Adorable. Now,